Hello, I want to uh, uh, kind of Minecraft video because today I'm going to show you like how to reduce lag when recording because recording is kind of annoying sometimes. But yeah, I'm not using it now because I can't really open it, but I'm using this. But yeah, here are the two programs you're going to need. You're going to need Microsoft Expression Encoder, which I'll put the link in the description, and the record, the screen capture thing for it. And yeah, if I just open it now, as you can see, it's very nice, done by Microsoft. And yeah, I've got a video here. Now, I've only got a laptop, so it won't be too good. But yeah, if I show it, is it going to play? Here we go. So yeah, it was only a bit laggy, but that's because it's only a rubbish laptop. But this is seriously how laggy it is in real life. It's because I haven't got Optivine. But yeah, that's it's really good. And I'm just going to show you, once you've got your screen capture, because what this is for is to encode it because as you can see it's only XESC and so you just send it to encoder and it takes a while to open but yeah it's really cool done by Microsoft and everything uh, it's all free as well yeah again I'll put the links in the description but it does take a while to really look a finger in that but it is worth it. If you want non laggy recording, then this is definitely the program to use. So, yeah, let's let it load up. There we go, it's coming up now. And as you can see, my screen capture is here. Very nice. And then, what? Well, once it's ready here, what you want to do, because it's a different file right now, you want to go to encoding for devices. And if you want it for YouTube, you would go to WMV, so Windows Movie Maker, but it's still just a, and you can still play it, because for some reason the XECV thing doesn't really work. And yeah, I choose this one, Xbox 360 HD 720, but you can use this one if you want it even more HD. But yeah, so once you've done that, select it, and there you go. And then one other thing you need to convert is this one, and what you do is you go to video and then you go to mode and do it to CBR one pass yeah this kind of uh, makes it a bit better for like lag free on when you put it on the internet but yeah here we go and once you've done all that you've set your settings it's only those two you really want to do you can choose everything it's quite simple you press encode once it does it will take quite a bit about for my video it probably take about uh, a minute but yeah I'll be back in a second once it's done hello welcome back I'm just coming back to the uh, end of the encoding process and here you go it's done and now it's done that it, it's really weird it's saved in a different place but this is how to get it out of there so if I just X out of this don't need to save just press no and then if you go over here type in in your search bar output like this and then you go to the first one here output and then I record this here today so if I go into here oh no wrong one sorry uh, it's going to be in one of these here you go I'm guessing this is it so here's the video it's done it's recorded and if I it's absolutely done and yeah very good recording process and now you can just edit it you know I'm going to edit it with Windows Movie Maker very good long lag free I recommend you get it if it's worth the extra time to wait, but it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, this is a good program. I'm, I use it all the time now. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hope this helped. Uh, please make sure to like it and to subscribe. And bye!